Welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. And of course, if at all you're just joining us, my name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you. Uh, welcome to the next discussion of the day. It's, it's all about matters concerning your career. And today, we want to, on, on career talk, we want to talk about career mapping. What is career mapping? How can you place yourself or put yourself on a pedestal where you are better placed in terms of progressing your career. This is why in the morning we're coming to you live from the Broadcasting House here in Nairobi, Kenya. We're also streaming live through our website and that's at www.kbc.co.ke for slash y254. Even as you talk about career mapping, ask your questions. The hashtag is why in the morning. Tag me at Ram Aguko. My handle uh, is uh, uh, on all social media platforms as at Ram Aguko and uh, Y254 channel, which is the official station handle. And of course, to help us in this particular discussion this fine Monday morning, I am with Joan Thu, who is a career coach. Karib Sada, Joan. Thank you so much, Ram. How are you feeling? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me here. It's my first time at, K at KBC Thank and you. I feel honored. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. It's an honor to have you. <laughs> it's an honor to have you. And uh, even as we start, let's uh, get straight to, to it. Mm -hmm. What is career mapping? All right. So every person needs to have um, a conversation with themselves in mm. regards to the direction in which they want to steer their career. Mm. And I know um, it's very common to think that you can only start having this conversation after college, um, you know, when you have a degree, there are people who, just because they have a diploma, they will mm. not think about, you know, their, uh, the, the direction in which they want to steer their career. Mm -hmm, um, mm. But my, my personal view is that you need to start having these conversations as soon as you're in high school. High school? Yes. You know, the people who say that, ah, man is a two from four, to taongea badai. Yeah, uh, which is wrong because you see also in high school we pick subjects. So you can start having that conversation and, you know, start to, to think in future, what do I want to be mm -hmm. and which subjects uh, do I want to specialize in? Uh, after high school um, or even uh, during high school, there's usually the time when uh, kids normally close school. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect time to even get an internship. I know the, the norm is that you need to wait until college, but mm -hmm. nothing is stopping someone from, you know, going... For, like, like for example, you want to be a doctor, even if you're, you're in form two or form three, nothing is stopping you from going to a hospital and just, you know, observing the work environment to see whether it it's will a, be a good it's fit. It's allowed? It is allowed. Like for example, even um, if I want to be like a journalist, for example, like, mm. um, and I'm still maybe in form three or, or form four, I can mm. come to KBC and say, hey, my name is so and so, I'm in this high school, um, and, and I'm thinking of becoming a journalist, Would, can I shadow you for a week? I'm sure Ram, if, if someone came and mm -hmm. asked you, I don't think you'd, you know, you'd mind, or even just have a cup of coffee with them to just you know walk them through yeah so, uh, I, I, I don't think i would i, I, would, I wouldn't mind ex in fact so you'd be possible. excited ah, it, yes, is, yes. it is it's just ah. that we we don't have those conversations <coughs> so mm. we don't have those conversations and we wait until it's too late because there are so many people who finish from four mm -hmm. end up doing degrees that they're not passionate about so that then two years in you, you, you know, you're not happy with the degree and you change. And wow. you see, it's wow. a waste of money, it's a waste of time, and, you know, you end up feeling very drained. So mm -hmm. what we are trying to say is career mapping is you having that conversation with yourself first to try and see which direction do I want to steer my career. And then number two, doing a little bit of research about that direction. So do you want to become a doctor? Do you want to become like Ram? Do you want to be a journalist? Do you want to become like Joan, you know, a career coach? Do you want to become, um, you know, s someone in marketing? And when you do your research, um, you're trying to find out what skills and attributes are needed for that particular job and do I have them? So that then mm -hmm. if you're saying you want to be a doctor, I remember um, in high school, I actually wanted to do medicine, but I fear blood, even my own blood. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't understand the concept of someone fearing their own blood, but many do. Yeah, and wounds, you know. So there's absolutely no way even if I had the grades for it, that uh, I'd be a, a doctor. So you, you, you had to change? I, I had to change. Or like you see, if, um, I could say that I'm very passionate about something like law mm. and I'm extremely introverted. So you mm -hmm. see, again, that's a problem. So things even like personality. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know mm -hmm. if you've ever done like the personality test. I don't know if you're Several. a choleric, sanguine, melancholy or phlegmatic. Ah. <laughs> 
I did, I did, I did, I did, I, I did, uh, this choleric. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh, sanguine, I think. Sanguine. Mm -hmm. There's choleric sanguine and a uh, few. Phlegmatic, a phlegmatic. And, and male. Yeah. So I, I would guess maybe a choleric, a choleric sanguine probably. Yeah. So you see, that personality is perfect for TV, what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. um, I think if someone is, let's say, very introverted, mm -hmm. they'd probably struggle, um, you know, like being on. Uh, national television for example okay okay so your personality okay. also would determine the kind of jobs that you take like for example i'm a choleric uh but then i'm also a melancholy so i like keeping to myself and and, and for those who do not who have no idea what you're talking about choleric melancholic phlegmatic sanguine <laughs> These are things that you can do on your own. Yes. Find out your personality. Yes. You know, now, now even let's talk about this, mm -hmm, Joanne. Mm -hmm. Now I'm um, I'm drawn back to a Kenyan household. Mm -hmm. Common manage. Yes. Here we're looking at this student or pupil. Yes. Who is being asked by a parent, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they say, I want to be a doctor, I mm -hmm. want to be this, I want to be this. And the parent says, No. I want you to be a lawyer. Mm. I want to, you to be a pilot. The parent chooses a career mm. for this child. Yeah. Does that affect career mapping? Yeah, uh, that's a very good question, Ram. And and I think it's also very common in the you know in the Kenyan households. Mm -hmm. the, you know, many many times parents are the ones who you know uh, they'll come home with their degree and tell you this is the degree that you're going to do yeah and i i believe sometimes um out of you know wanting the best for their child and and you know so one of the things that i would say if if maybe your parent came and said you'll go and do medicine mm -hmm. you want to do your own research so that by the time you're saying no mom i don't want to do medicine i think i want to do this other uh, degree course because of one two three mm -hmm that nothing is stopping you from also doing your research and finding out, um, you know, like what skills and attributes am I, uh, uh, do I currently possess and I think I'm going to thrive in this particular degree. So that then you, you're not also telling your parents, no, I don't want to do that with nothing backing you up. So get the information. Get the information. Go with research. Exactly. Talk to them. Exactly. What if they refuse and they say, in our family, my father was a teacher. I am a teacher. My grandfather was a teacher. You will be a teacher. Yes, yes. And so I also think then we also need to sensitize parents because truth of the matter is the job market in 2022 is completely different from during our time. Mm -hmm. I mean, in 2022, a career like digital marketing is so marketable. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It would be, you know, um, uh, 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 one of the most marketable uh, skills in, in 2022 across the world. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you might be forcing your child to do medicine or law or, you know, um, journalism, because then if, you're, if your child gets an A, they must, I don't know why we are so conditioned to think if someone gets an A, they must do either medicine, law, a pilot mm -hmm. or, or, or a journalist, anything else is, is not, is, is not good, good. And, and you see, that's not accurate because things have really changed, uh, like, especially even after, after COVID. Mm -hmm. Things have really changed, you know, uh, there are certain skills that are needed and so that we are finding the job market very, uh, very diverse. In fact, you could have someone who finished from four, they quickly learn photography, videography, yeah, yeah. you see, and then they're on social media, they're probably earning more than the lawyer and the doctor mm -hmm. because then it's a, it's a needed, it's a needed skill. Because there's so, a niche there. Exactly. And it has, and it has grown and it's continuing to grow. Wow. So as you're forcing your child to do this law and medicine, which they don't love, and you're going to spend so much time and money, and even they're they going to spend their time, they end up doing their medicine, and then after they've graduated, they can even come back and tell you, here's your degree. No, I'm going to do my, my videography, or I'm going to do my literature. Is that the right move? Because I've been in, 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 in many, many fora where mm -hmm. that is discussed. And uh, a career coach... Someone like you yeah. says, if your parent tells you to do this course, mm. do it. Mm. Let them pay the school fees. Yeah. You do it. Yeah. But when you're done, take that certificate or that diploma mm. or that degree, mm. return it to them, give it to them, say that, Dad, mm -hmm. they are in the family. Mm. Is that the right path? Okay, so uh, the first thing I'd, I'd want to say, of course, in, um, you know, from where I'm coming from, there's no degree that you know, would be wasted. 
it's not that I think we need to sensitize parents. Um, and, and you see, when you're having that career conversation, uh, that parents are sensitized to want to have the career conversations with their child. Mm. So that then you're not going and, and deciding, you know, I want my child to do medicine. When you're going to see a career coach, I would advise that, you know, become both of them, the parent and the child, so that then both of them are um, aligned as far as um, the child's career is concerned. Mm. But vetoing and, you know, saying that my child needs to do X, Y, Z, it's completely wrong because also parents could be misguided because things have changed and they're probably thinking what worked 10 years ago is working in 2022 which is not accurate all right and of course I, w I want us to take a short break and then we'll be back and after this break we want to talk about how an individual um can go through this whole process mm -hmm. do we have tools mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. somebody can use mm -hmm. to help them in career right. mapping yeah yeah right. and of course we shall be doing that in a bit keep talking to us that's like is why in the morning we're taking a short break we'll be back with more in a bit these tools, just br briefly, mm -hmm. um, what are these tools that a Kenyan youth can use to help them in terms of facilitating their career in, in, in career mapping? All right. So, the, you know, one um, low-hanging fruit would be try and have conversations with people in the careers that you want to go into. Mm -hmm. So that then if I want to become a journalist, is it possible to get RAM? I can get, uh, nowadays it's very easy to get uh, people, you know, even on social media. Mm -hmm. But um, as much as possible, if you're able to have a conversation, so that then when I'm sitting down with RAM and I want to become a journalist, I'm asking you questions like, which degree did you do? How is it so far? How, how are you able to get your job? What are some mm -hmm. of the challenges you encountered uh, are there certain things that you learned that you can tell me so that then i avoid the the same pitfalls so having those uh trying to have the one-on-one -on -one conversations with people who are in the careers that you want to go into is you know would be something very important okay if you're mm -hmm. able to get an internship and what i'm saying is don't wait until you're in college nothing is stopping someone who is still in form two form three from doing um you know even if it's a shadowing program mm -hmm. go into those organizations and say hey my name is so and so um I'm, I'm in form two, you know, I'm very passionate about journalism, I'm very passionate about marketing, and I would want a one-week, um, you know, internship or a one-week, uh, you know, shadowing someone, I'm willing, you know, I'm very good with my administration skills, I can do one, two, three, mm -hmm. I just want to, to, to expose myself and try and find out uh, whether this career path is going to be good for me. And of course, at this point, you're not asking for any money. You just want to get the experience. You want to get the mm -hmm. exposure. Mm -hmm. So that is going mm -hmm. to really inform you. By the time you're going to campus to do that degree, you're very sure that it's the right one because wow. then you have been exposed to that kind of environment. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, of course, when your career mapping is you want to do your research about that particular field. Like now, for example, a, a degree like psychology, I did uh, industrial psychology. There are so many branches of psychology. There's industrial psychology, there's counseling psychology, there's sports psychology. There are different types of psychology. So which type of psychology would you want to do? If it's medicine, there are different areas that you can go into. So uh, doing your research is going to help you narrow down. It's going to help you even realize about the specific schools that you'd want to, uh, to go into. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is you want to do an assessment. Nowadays, these assessments are actually free online. Mm -hmm. So do a personality assessment to try and see, am I a choleric, phlegmatic, melancholy, uh, what is my personality and which careers fit my personality. Do a career assessment mm -hmm. to try and check, do you currently possess natural abilities that would, would, would make you successful in the area that you want to go into? Are you a people's person? Are you, you know, um, are, are you someone who is adaptable? Are you versatile? Are you, do you work very well within a team? Are you someone who is like good in, uh, in math? And which, uh, which careers are in line with your aptitudes and your All strengths? Right. All right. right. Yeah. And 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 uh, and if, even for for somebody who's confused in terms of which career path to take, mm -hmm. you want to be this. You don't know between this and this which is the best mm -hmm. way to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you're saying do research on both fields. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Do Get do know the what... research. Yes, if you're able to expose yourself, mm. also try and expose yourself. So that then, if you're saying you want to be a journalist or you want to become a baker or you want to become a hairstylist or you want to become a, a marketer, can you get? into that organization and, and can you get like even if it's just one week i know yeah. i've ran programs with people actually in in high school mm -hmm. and you know we just expose them to the work environment to try and see where are they best fitted and mm -hmm. we need to start having those conversations early let's not wait until someone has finished 
um, uh, uh, form four mm -hmm. because then sometimes we wait. People wait. And then now People it's too do. late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and and someone gets confused and exactly. they get advice from different relatives. Yeah. Who tell them, you know, I did this. Exactly. I'm in this field. Maliza will let a certificate. Exactly. <laughs> and, and truth of the matter is nowadays they're, they're, they're someone who finished from four. Mm. They did photography, videography, and they're earning, they're earning so much. Yeah. Probably yeah. more than someone who's finished a degree course. Speaking of earning, mm -hmm. something we, we, we were talking about a bit earlier on. Many you say, Akuna Kazi. Mm. There are no jobs. There are no jobs. <laughs> I love how, how, how you're saying that career mapping is very important. Yes. Um, let's talk about that particular uh, angle. Mm -hmm. um, are there those things that generally can help people to grow in their career and put them at a better place? Right. So, yes. And the first thing I would want to talk about is personal branding. Because let me tell you, Ram, as a mm. recruiter in this country, and, and I'm sure not just me, many hiring managers and recruiters are going to tell you, mm -hmm. the CVs we get... Pathetic. Oh, my. So, like, for example, I, I want to become, a, like, I want an internship at um, Y in the morning, and I send you my CV. And the first thing you read is, instead of curriculum vitae, mm. curriculum vitamin. Now... <laughs> <laughs> how, how do we proceed? Please tell me. Vitamin. How, how do we proceed? Or 0722 mm -hmm. 907 That number cannot be it's called. It's incomplete. I cannot reach you on phone. So maybe the CV is good, but I cannot reach you on phone. So the simple things, grammatical errors. Mm. You get a CV, it's half a page. Mm. You've, you've requested for CVs, uh, people have sent, uh, someone has forwarded uh, the CV, but the email does not have a subject, does not have anything, they've just forwarded but, an email. But, but, but Johan, I'm, I'm concerned about these youth who are saying, I've, I've not done anything, Me, I've just finished uh, campus, I don't mm -hmm. have any work experience, so mm -hmm. my CV is just going to be a page. Mm -hmm. Back to what we were talking about before, mm -hmm. there is so much that you can do that can fill up your CV, even if you're in high school. Are you in any uh -huh. club? Uh -huh. Are you the president of, of any club? Are you a prefect? Uh, do you love math? Why do you love math? Which, which, which subjects in math did you enjoy? When you do the research about, even at, at, the, at the point when you're in Form 4, if you do your research about the direction in which you want to steer your career, you can be able to pick some attributes and skills that you currently possess that prepare you for, you know, that degree course. Right. There's so much you can do even if you're a Form 4 student. You can have a CV. But at, mm -hmm. at the point when you're in Form 4, at the point when you're a first year, second year, um, that you don't have a degree or that I'm still in high school, that I'm still in college, should not be an excuse as to why you don't have, a, a, you know, a CV. Okay. You can even put the books that you're reading. You can put, you know, some of the soft skills, things like I'm a team player, I'm versatile, I'm adaptable, I'm creative, I'm innovative. What have you innovated? All There's right. so much that you can put on the CV. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the general thing. So you're mm -hmm. saying improve on your CV. Yes. All and right. I'm what, calling that personal branding. Personal branding. Yes. All right. So we have what other CV. Things? Yeah. yeah. The second thing that we have is the LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. The LinkedIn profile in 2022 is so important. It, it's, it's, I would dare say that it's as important as your CV. Because nowadays, um, after I receive your CV, I'm going to go and check your online presence. So do you have a LinkedIn profile? Um, because then there are so many people who don't even know there's something called a LinkedIn profile that exists. And what happened is, after COVID, many recruiters, many hiring managers across the world started looking out for people on LinkedIn. So you're doing yourself a, um, a, dis, you know, a, a disservice if you mm -hmm. don't have a LinkedIn profile, if you're mm -hmm. a job seeker mm -hmm. in 2022, because every day there are people who are getting hired, there are people who are getting remote jobs in different parts of the world on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. yes. Get a LinkedIn profile. You must. Now, mm -hmm. even as you talk about this particular platform, mm -hmm. I'm drawn to Facebook, mm -hmm. to other social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Do they play a role in terms of affecting someone's career? That's a very good question. So. I think uh, what I want to say is in 2022, your personal brand don't you know it, it 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 shouldn't be limited to LinkedIn only. These other platforms are also important. So you know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, so I, I think it depends on the career you know which you're at, mm -hmm. and, and and you having a strategy 
as to how you want to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. So that then, you know, uh, Ram, as a, a journalist, for example, you'd say that I want to, in, this is how I want to brand myself. And the brand is going to align on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on mm -hmm. TikTok, on, you know, like all these uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. But if you're a professional, of course, you want to start with, you know, the LinkedIn account. Um, a platform like Facebook, most people normally use it for, you know, like uh, socializing and socializing. Mm -hmm. So I think it's up to an individual so that then, you know, um, if like um, you're, you're saying you want to create a professional brand on Facebook, mm -hmm. then now I don't want to come to Facebook and see you in a bikini or mm -hmm. I don't want to come on Facebook and, you know, I'm seeing, um, you know, uh, images that would... Um, you know, uh, not put you in a very good light professionally. So I think mm. first, you know, decide this is a brand I'm trying to create and I want to create it in all these platforms uh, okay. and then adjust okay. accordingly. So should it be same brand, all platforms? If that not... is what you choose. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, any, other, any other tip as we uh, wrap it up? Okay, so the other thing, of course, when it comes to the personal brand would be the cover letter because many hiring managers are going to, you know, ask you to do a cover letter. And I, I, I feel many job seekers struggle writing a good cover letter. Mm -hmm. Probably they struggle more with the cover letter than they do the CV. Mm. So you want to um, draft something before. Uh, because another mistake people make is um, until Ram asks you, uh, please send, there's this opening, please send me your CV. That's the time you're rushing to do mm, the CV. Mm. But you want to make sure that you've done your CV way in advance so that then when you ask for the CV, you can quickly submit. You can just submit. send it. All yeah. right. Thanks so much, Don. I want us to bring this conversation to a close mm -hmm. and give you time to have a final word. Um, speak to that Kenyan youth watching you today. That's your camera. What's your parting shot? All right, so if you're a job seeker in 2022, the first thing I would advise you to do is you really need to get serious about your personal branding tools as we've discussed, and that is your CV, your LinkedIn profile, and your cover letter. Remember, the purpose of a CV is to land you an interview. The CV is never going to land you a job. So you want to do everything within your power to ensure when a hiring manager or a recruiter gets your CV, they are calling you for an interview. Also remember that most recruiters, most hiring managers, are going to spend at most six seconds on your CV deciding whether they want to read um, more. So mm -hmm. you want to ensure that you're capturing their, their attention within six seconds. You wow. must have a good LinkedIn profile. In 2022, it's criminal not to have a LinkedIn profile because hiring managers <laughs> and recruiters are spending a lot of time hiring talent on LinkedIn. And the last thing is... Um, Inter uh, uh, you need to also prepare yourself for interviews. Uh, as I said earlier, the purpose of a CV is to land you an interview. A CV will never land you a job. The purpose of an interview is to land you the job offer. So you could have the perfect CV, but then mm -hmm. if you go for the, uh, for the interview and you cannot uh, answer simple questions like, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What is your salary expectation? Then, I mean, even having the good CV will, will not have uh, served its purpose. So have a good CV, have a good LinkedIn profile, have a good uh, cover letter, but then also spend some time preparing for interviews to ensure that right. your the interviews that you go into mm -hmm. translate into uh, job offers. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Joan. I, I, I really appreciate that. Wow, wow. Too much wisdom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Ram. We shall have you again. And, and maybe next time we talk about now how to write a CV exactly. and discover letter. Because exactly. I believe that's also a very, very important thing that, that as you've just said. It is. Yeah. Thanks it so is. much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored. It's my first time at KBC and I really enjoyed my, my time here. Asante, Asante. Thank you. God bless you, my dear. And of course, that brings us to the end of this discussion today uh, right here on Why in the Morning. Uh, we still have much more coming up. Your way still. And of course, keep it locked. Uh, engage with us. Keep telling us where you're watching us from. We we value your feedback. Your feedback. Let's take a short break. We'll be back in a bit.
Y254. Imagine. Afundo kare 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 Ni kila juma tatu samoni nusu mpaka tatu nusu ndani ya Y254 na kuletea Y mashariki kwa ajili ya kupa 